Good morning and welcome back to No Man's Land. I am Pekamika and today it's March. You just saw the Iveco drive off with a bunch of stuff to sell. I'm going to be selling a bit more. Uh, I'm already working on the fields. I am planting sugar beets at field 28 and field 45 is getting its second planting of sunflower seeds which is great well not sunflower seeds but sunflower well actually it is seeds yeah I'm planting seeds so what we've been selling today is honey and I have a little bit left because it's not a full pallet um, yeah weird and um, sunflower oil today I'm also going to be selling the mixed salads so out they pop and then we just wait for the Iveco to come back hopefully it will come back so how are you guys doing? I'm doing quite good over here I don't know what that sound is, but it should stop. See if I can do two at a time. Some of these pallets doesn't weigh too much. Of course, it would help if I could I grab them properly. Like straight in. Well, let's do the other one. Gives us a bit more space. Oh, that sound was the sales numbers. How much did we get? That's not the one. That's the one. Oh, 87,000 for product sold so far. Nice. There it is. Um, let's check. Wait. Don't mind that. Yeah, this course is not set up properly. Let me just move this a bit. Make it easier for me to get there. need to get access to both sides still so just park it over here off there we go and now we're gonna load up with make solid then we sell that and then once that is done we are sorting out the grass field. As you remember I expanded it a little bit, made one section a bit more rounded and basically I just need to plant on it and March is the first month I can do it and March is the last month I can do it if I want full cuts on the field for cuts completely because the first cut is in May there we go hello there let's turn off everything so we don't have any distractions going on You know what I mean? It's supposed to be able to pick it up when it's all the way down on your pallets, especially on the short end, but for some reason you cannot. there 
would miss the one behind. Yeah. Excellent. Seven and eight, as you can see. Yeah, that's good enough. In April, we're going to be planting the soybeans and the corn. I'm going to keep doing those things on the fields because it is somewhat profitable. And I used them for the production facility. I also looked up the fact that, as I said, that the open greenhouses can now do cotton, sugar beets, and I don't remember the last one it could do. That is a new addition to it. But I was looking up if, if that is actual feasible, like if it's done in real life. And it is. You can do cotton in greenhouses. So that's great. Hey, hey, no need to get jumpy. You are going to be sold. There we go. Stay there. Yes, there we go. Uh, I haven't activated that yet in the greenhouses because I do feel like the more I activate on my greenhouses, the more, uh, the slower they are. It's not like they are, you know, working at 100% on each item that is being produced. Which is a shame, because, you know, I guess it makes sense in a way, considering that you take up space from the other production in the greenhouse. Whoa, that's way off. So, the more different things you do the less you get of everything so it would be worth it having like dedicated greenhouses which is something I can do I have the opportunity for that I have the space for it I could also do the maple uh, syrup thing I haven't done that And also, um, there is a mod that allows you to grow grapes in a greenhouse. It doesn't look like a greenhouse, it still looks like vines on a vineyard. But it is found in the greenhouse. And again, that is something that is happening in real life. Some farmers are planting grapes in greenhouses. The best way to do it, according to the video I saw, would be to place the plant outside the greenhouse and then guide them in through the bottom the the vines themselves and um, could be lucrative in a way I'm not looking to get a lot of grapes I'm just looking to get a little bit of grapes um, of course you don't use machinery for these grapes because you know it's a greenhouse so what you do use is um, hand tools. Sorry, that was sounded weird. Hand tools. Almost done here. So I may be doing that. I may be doing a grape greenhouse.
because that could be fun. Then I get the grapes I need so I can keep my cereal production going non-stop. Grapes I'm using for my production of raisins. Excellent work, me. And we park that there and we go, go and deliver this ourselves. Lock it up. Ta da! And off we drive. Wait, we haven't checked where the mixed salads are sold yet. I know there's only one place, but you know, it doesn't hurt. To check it again, make salad there. Small shop, yep. Yeah. So I spent all the money. I bought all the things that I said I wanted to buy in the previous. Oh, it looks like that one is done, which should make me believe that the potato or the sugar beet planter is done as well. Um, I spent all the money that I said I was going to spend to buy all the equipment I said I was going to buy except for the tractor. I haven't bought that one yet. But I did buy the telehandler as you saw. I bought the tools for the telehandler uh, as you also maybe saw. And then I bought um, a larger, um, what's the thing, forge wagon, that's the one. Let's get the numbers back up. So another, sorry, fifteen thousand, sixteen thousand eight hundred ish on that, which is great. So here is the new forage wagon. I kind of like the look of it. I did change the color scheme to be slightly different than it was. I think it was red, but I decided to go for a dark brown instead. So the shoot maker, and this is the extended version. So it has this little extension on it and it can hold a little more than twice as much as this one. Also has the silage additive added to it, which is great. So now I shouldn't have to do too many trips on the field when I'm collecting the hay, um, the grass. We'll find out what it looks like in the month of May when I will be using it for the first time. Yeah, I don't really need you. Well, actually, I do need you to do more stuff. I will set you up to do rolling and also pesticiding. That will change you around a bit. I am kind of low on space. I'm trying to set up dedicated parking spots for my vehicles. However, I don't know how to do it, because no matter how much I press here, I get this one. It has no park room des parking destination assigned. And I don't know how to set it up as a parking destination. Uh, because if I record and press this, it doesn't happen. Because again, da -da, if I right click, it just do that. Oh, sorry, that's not record. This record. And if I do this, I don't get any indicator that it's a... Um, thingy my ball. So I have absolutely no way I have to set up parking spaces for my vehicles. So I just leave it be. Now we are gonna well we can go to the why did you stop? Because you're out of fertilizer. Well that's a silly reason to stop isn't it? Okay, let's go get some fertilizer. I know where I have some. 
thought I was going to set you up to do some rolling or some fertilize, um, weeding. Okay, then. I did one thing that I'm kind of proud of, and that is I set up a direct route from this uh, the ropa to the field, so it will go there from its parking spot and start working right away. Which is kind of awesome. I'm also going to change the silos, instead of having two beat silos, I will just get one. There we go. That will hold the... Um, um, 800,000 liters worth. It's roughly what I make on the field. I make slightly more. But I think I can get away with that. Because I don't know if you noticed the way it looks now. It um, looks kind of wishful thinking. I'll set this up at nearest waypoint. So I have two of them facing in that odd angle. So I have one offload point and two um, or two um, loading locations or whatever. So this one goes and start. Should be enough for you to sort itself out there. Right? Okay, so I guess we take this one. You're done. Damn it. Forgot to check. This one needs rolling, doesn't need weeding. You needs weeding and rolling. Okay. We sort that out. I'm also thinking slightly of getting a semi with a large trailer that can help me move stuff quicker. So something that is going from silo to cell point. Um, right now I'm using you know, tractors with trailer beds or uh, trailers that can do about 22,000 liters each, while at the same time you can get a semi that can do 50, 60,000 liters. Well, there's a tree. Uh, it's okay, it's not fully grown yet. So I will park you here, because this is roughly where you were designed to be, and then we will go get the roller. No, the weeder, sorry. Yeah, the weeder. It's placed over here. No idea where the roller is. I'll find it. Oh, there it is. Found it. That's not the one I want. That's the one I want. I am kind of curious to see what happens if I do this. So it's field 20, uh, plot, bleh, that one, 45, and weeding, 
load the course back first what load reading There, first waypoint, go. Can't find it. I think that for that to work, I need to set it up so auto drive has a waypoint two field 45. And then from there, so I'll sort of combine these two. So I send auto drive to drive over there and then get started. So is this where I start or is this where I end? It looks like the start position for me. But it's not, it's the end position. Start his way over there. So we'll do some corner on that one. big farm now. Don't know if I would get more fields considering that everything is happening at the same time. Uh, I can sort of take away from that and, and sort of manipulate it a bit more by changing so I don't use seasons as such I just use um, there's a mod that basically allows you to why did you stop this time what the hell is wrong with you back up supposed to be so difficult. It's like they completely lose their mind as soon as something gets a little bit wrong. And I sound like I'm losing my mind. I get upset with them. But yeah, um, because there is um, there's more than one type of wheat for example, like there is a winter wheat that you harvest in the spring I think. And then there is the standard wheat that you harvest in the the fall, or it's you harvest the winter wheat in the summer, and the, the normal wheat in the, the fall. But getting more fields as it is now would just make me have to work more certain months and less certain months. Like in February, the only thing to do is, is feed the animals, put away the production stuff, sell a few pallets of something easy, easy. But, like, as you notice in March, there is two fields that need to be planted, and then rolled and, and weeded, and then selling honey, mixed salad, and sunflower oil, which is great. You make a bunch of money on it, but time-wise, it takes a bit of time. And I was supposed to go and sort out the grass field now, but this one seems to be needing some a bit of babysitting here. So I will see if it gets started as I have a sip of coffee. And since I'm here, I might as well wait until it's this thing is done. So I set them up like this because it didn't work to have it go uh, you know, to drop off at one place until it's full and then move on to the other one. I didn't test it like that, but I tested it with the sell point when I was selling. So this was selling first, and then the other one was right next to it. So the point was that once the first is empty, it would actually go to the trigger that is set further away to coincide where it fills up from the second one. 
Uh, but it stopped at the first one because it sends the trigger there, even though the silo was empty. So by doing it this way, I'm hoping that when I do offload from the rope bar into the silo, it will dump into both, right? It, the, the trigger is, is so overlapping that it will get into both. And then um, I will not have to do anything during the day or the month when I'm harvesting the sugar beet because it, it will handle it itself. <laughs> that way I can focus on harvesting the, the soybeans or something else. Still keeping an eye on things but not getting involved as much as I did with my um, tractors because as I said my tractors are not strong enough to pull trailers that can hold all that the rope can hold. So if it can be talked into emptying out into the silo by itself as it makes its way across the field then the tractors are free to work on other stuff or maintenance if you want to roleplay that. So it's good, I think. So we're going to get the roller rolling on this and then I'm going to take the stair and guess the small cedar there. I think the stair can run, run that one. I'm not sure actually. Let's find out. Let's check out the market area here. So what do we have? We have a cultivar, a couple of cultivators, additional tank to increase the capacity of your tools. That's not bad. It holds seeds. It's like we have very large fields, I guess. This is a farm tech manure spreader. Don't have that. TGX. Um, nope, don't need that. I already have a, a Vecco that can do the things that this one can do. That one would be interesting. A dedicated mower. 12 meter wide case. I don't know if it can work with what I have at the moment. So I'm kind of okay. What's this? This is a... Yeah, I mean, this one would be right, the May 12th, but it doesn't tell me anything. It's silage. It doesn't tell me the strength needed to pull it, so I won't be getting it. Um, but if we look at the trucks here, we can get any of the more powerful trucks here, um, like the Mack trucks or... Roadrunner. I think there's some Peterbilt as well. There's some man there. Black Anthem. Mack truck. So I can get something like this and then um, like this one. 51, almost 52,000. Um, 59,000. 75,000. This one would make short work of any sales that I need to do. The problem is it's turning radius. It's like huge. I wouldn't be able to turn. Uh, that one is smaller. don't know. This is a bale trailer of sorts. Animal trailer. Profit liner. So I think I would go for maybe this one. I would have to figure out if we can make the turn. It's two dumping spots. So maybe this one is the two as well? Yeah, it has two. Oh wait, that wasn't what I'm gonna look at. Um where's my cedar? That's planter cedar there. 160 horsepower. 135, okay. How about the roller? 60 horsepower, okay. So... You know what? That's such a little piece of work over there. 
So I will do the rolling stuff first. I can actually do that in March 2, the second day, if I need to, if I run out of time. But it's still kind of early in the day, so I should be okay. But I believe getting those fields sorted out first is the better option. Come on, there we go. Pick it up. So, no course. We're going to load a course, which is going to be plot 28. And we're going to load rolling. There we go. Yay. I do believe that this year, during harvest, I will run out of space in the silo. Um, maybe. Because I haven't sold <coughs> the items that I have in there. The, the produce. <coughs> I'm, I'm keep keeping it, but I can save it. Uh, first waypoint start. And why did you stop? I I really have no idea what's going on here. How much of this field did you weed? I mean, did you weed anything? Yeah, you did weed this part. You didn't weed the next section. Honestly, what's wrong with you guys? Do I need to babysit you all the time? Am I doing something wrong? I mean, you as a viewer, you may have more knowledge about auto drive or course play than I do, and you can maybe explain to me why. The tools just stop in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a field, and not continuing the work, even though there is a perfectly fine course for it to go on. It's very frustrating. This is also one of the reasons I don't want to get too many fields, because I just need to babysit too much. It's, you know, in my next series, I'm going to be more controlled, and I will set up more work between autoplay and course play because it is a great tool working com together if it works and i'm going to set it up in such a way that from where i'm going to try and figure out how to use the parking function as well that from the parking i don't think that works though that i can get it to go from parking to pick up the tool to go to work but i can do that but from where the tool station is I will send it to the right field to do the right job. Right now I'm not using this. So let's hope that works also. Um, I mean I could sort of do it now but... Yeah. Okay, you're slowly working there. Next harvest is in July. That's when we harvest the wheat. July or August. And then it's going to be some hectic time here again. Not so much, I mean, yeah, soybeans and corn next month, and then May, June. It's basically just going to be cutting the grass, June um, selling stuff. We look at the stuff we're going to sell, let's... April, we have a few things to sell as well. Fabric. We're gonna sell that in April, which is great. Three th almost four thousand per liter, and we have sixteen thousand. Um, X is later in the year. Seeds we're not selling at all. That's silly. Corn. I think we can sell the corn we have in June, along with the soybeans. Uh, I guess we can sell the sunflowers now in March because we don't really need that much. Um, I can top up on my uh, production for that. Oats, I need to top up a little bit. The wheat, <laughs> I'm, I'm really cutting it close now. Um, but it should be yeah, definitely going to keep 
until I need it for the the chickens. Need that. Oats is in the production here. So as you can see, you now I've cut them, corn, soybean, sugar beet, sunflower, potatoes, strawberries, lettuce, tomatoes, and those open air gardens. Um, but I don't want to do sugar beet, soybeans, corn in there or sunflowers because I'm doing it outside. But uh, where is that? Oh, it's up here. So plenty of water. Flour is running low because we have no wheat. I don't want to put in more wheat. Still have oats left for the um, cereal. So it's oats, corn. Don't need to top that up. Sunflower, I can top it up to 50,000. And that should, um, let's see, sunflower oil. You use 4,800 a month. So if I top it up five, that's ten months worth. So then I can sell the rest of the sunflowers. Canola. I do small fields of canola, so don't really have any of that. Don't do olives. I could do olive groves. We go again. Oh, need to be repaired. Okay. So the thing is. I um, downloaded a mod that is supposed to make it more real and stuff that um, I think it's this one um, um, but it been I don't know where that is. Anyway, it's supposed to... Okay, let's dump this one here. How are the tractor? The tractor doesn't seem to be... Well, it needs a little bit of repair, yeah. So, this tool... Why am I turning this one? Um, or this mod is supposed to make it so you need, you know, more advanced maintenance on your vehicles. That once they reach like 50% and so, they start breaking down more often. And, and have trouble to start or they just cut out on you and things like that and I installed it um, and I didn't forget about it until just now so now I realize that it has nothing to do with course play or auto drive it has to do with me installing a mod that I'm not really using in this series because I'm not really doing role playing as such but it is what it is anywho time's up I will finish off what I'm doing here and see what else mayhem I can come up with until next episode. But I do appreciate you sticking around. And please, if you do know how to create parking spaces using AutoDrive, uh, please let me know as detailed as possible because I have been looking at the information given um, on the... the hub space or whatever couldn't really find anything and I've been checking videos and I couldn't really find anything there either so I have no idea why it doesn't allow me to do it anyway it's not a big problem oh yeah the, I put a middle part out on this on this um, I got the converter for the telehandler so I can now use the front loader tools which is fine awesome uh, this is the one repair Whoa. fully how about you yeah sure there we go Check. I also spent some money to upgrade the t equipment that I have to the biggest possible version um, the only one that really benefited from that was the yellow combine here. I gave an extended lip so it can hold a little bit more produce. Again, to avoid it going back to the drop-off point too, too often. So that's cool. 
anyway enough of me rambling thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it please like subscribe and more importantly comment and i hope i see you in the next episode until then please do take care bye bye